It is 8 o'clock on the nose. We continue our live local coverage with breaking news here at 8 o'clock. Highway 285, you can see it for yourself. Reopening just moments ago after a deadly crash involving a semi truck. And Sky 2 over that road just moments ago. Uh, it is back open. Traffic still moving pretty slow in that area, but it is starting to move again. So a little bit of good news. Nate Bell is live there along 285 this morning. So, Nate, how's it looking? Yeah, guys, just reopening uh, within the last half hour, and things are starting to move smoothly out here. We've got a uh, traffic moving smoothly through the area. It was backed up for a little bit once they reopened just because there were so many cars actually just parked along the shoulder here waiting for it to reopen. After uh, more than 12 hours of being closed, it closed just after 5 o'clock last night because of a semi crash, which Colorado State Police tells us that the semi rolled over. It was tossing pipes all over the road, uh, hit and killed one driver. Five cars in total were hit, and we actually talked to a witness who was out here yesterday at the scene and they saw the whole thing happen. He kind of blew by us and we felt the the gust of wind as he went by and you know he disappeared around the corner behind us and kind of just all we could think was you know we really were praying he could make it to the bottom of the hill. As so for all of you driving through Jefferson County on this beautiful morning out here you can drive safely and free of mind now knowing that it is open and ready to go here at Highway 285. That cleanup has uh, completed and they're ready to go. So no, no worries coming through here at 285 right now. For, we'll send it back to you guys live in Conifer. Nate Belt's Daybreak on 2. All right, Nate, that is some good news. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. Now